This is Event Horizon, rounding out our 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. Space, the final frontier of terror. In space, everyone can hear you scream. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, it seems that this spaceship, the Event Horizon, was built and had this engine that could open up a wormhole and send the ship anywhere in the known universe in the blink of an eye. However, after activating the engine, the ship and her entire crew vanished and stayed that way for seven years. After those seven years, the ship suddenly reappears and a rescue crew is dispatched to recover it and find out what happened to that missing spaceship. However, they soon discover that the ship brought something back with it. Something evil! Do you love haunted house movies? Have you ever thought, hey, you know what would really make this haunted house movie even more terrifying? What if it were in space? And that's what this movie is. This is the Amityville horror in space. Only unlike an Amityville movie, it's not boring. I mean, come on, the walls actually bleed at one point. You know, this movie is also like Hellraiser in space. You know, a year after Hellraiser actually made it to space. I bet you forgot they actually made a Hellraiser in space movie, didn't you? I know I did. I love Event Horizon with the full and comfortable knowledge that it is an incredibly flawed movie. Yes, I know it has its own collection of stupidities, but I still love it. I know it makes no sense that the ship is orbiting Neptune inside Neptune's atmosphere, and that should have made it light up like a Roman candle and go into a fiery re-entry, but, but I don't care! I don't care that it doesn't make any sense that a guy got blown up and yet somehow makes his way back to the ship. I don't care. I don't care that there's one room of the ship that the crew keeps getting told not to go into, but they keep going into it anyway. I don't care. If you can forgive these eccentricities in a haunted house movie, you can forgive it in Event Horizon. I don't even care that Cooper is one of the most annoying characters in the history of anything ever, and that the majority of his terrible, annoying lines were dubbed in in post to add what an out-of-touch studio executive considered humor. You know, actually, I, 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 I do. I do hate that. That was just awful. I remember watching this movie in 1997 and absolutely loving it and then going to a writer's conference a few months later where an entire panel of movie critics named it the worst movie of the year. I was appalled. How dare they? Are they blind? Did they just not see the masterpiece I saw? Event Horizon is a horror triumph and I love it. It's not deep, it's not philosophical, and it's not trying to say anything. This movie is disturbing, it's frightening, it's unnerving, and it's aggressive about it. You rarely see a movie this aggressive. All it's trying to do is tell a simple story in very simple ways with one of the greatest settings ever constructed in science fiction horror. I, of course, refer to the true star of the show, the Event Horizon herself. This ship on the inside and out looks like an evil gothic cathedral that should be adorned with gargoyles and presided over by hunchbacks. Evil hunchbacks, not the Disney singing version, but like the, the, the really <laughs> hunchbacks. Simply put, I feared this ship. Good job, Event Horizon. Good job. Not to mention that the cast for this movie is stacked. You've got Lawrence Fishburne, you've got Sam Neill, you've got Jason Isaacs, Sean Pertwee, Kathleen Quinlan, Richard T. Jones, Jack Noseworthy, a veritable who's who of late 90s talent, many of which have become legendary. 
This movie is stylish, scary, and well-directed, which is amazing considering it was directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, the guy behind all those terrible Resident Evil movies. This movie is his magnum opus. This is the best he ever did and likely will ever do. And I'm not saying that to shame the man. He should be proud. This movie is amazing. While I do love this film almost on a spiritual level, I will be the first to admit that it can be annoyingly over-directed. Mr. Anderson, this is a horror movie, not a rock video. The jump scares are also completely out of control and irritating. I mean, think about this. Do you go up to someone in a completely silent setting, a completely silent and high tension setting, and say their name as loudly as you can right behind them to get their attention? No, you don't. But the people on Event Horizon do. Okay, this movie is flawed. I'll admit it, but you know what? I still love it. Event Horizon is one of those rare, wonderful, divisive movies that tears friendships apart, starts fistfights, and sparks wars. People either think it's an underrated classic or 90 minutes of pure 200 proof horse manure served on loud silverware. Personally, I fall into the latter, but if you agree, I'd love to hear your opinion so that I may ignore it and continue loving this terrible movie. And so, as the dimensional gate opens and the portal to hell itself awaits, I bid you a blessed Halloween. May your frights be psychological and may your terrors be traumatic. Thank you for joining me once again for another 31 Spooky Movies of Halloween. Thank you.